Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And tonight I'm going to be reviewing Witchwood Brewery and their Arrow, Arrowain, Arrowain. My pronunciation is rubbish. So, I've just turned the um, camera on and um, it was all blurred and I'm thinking, oh God, what's happened here? And uh, basically, nothing. And on and off three or four times, then use the zoom in and zoom out, and luckily it's come back on. I thought that was it, that's going to be the end of my reviews, you know. Well, until I can afford to buy a new camera. Whoosh. So, this is a dark beer, straight and true. 3.6% so of quite a weak beer from Witchwood. And according to the... Um, Rate Bear website, it's a mild ale. Now, you don't get many mild bears these days, so something different. So, um, close to ebony black colour, with a beige head, beige tan head, you know. Can't see any lacing or carbonation, but I presume there is some there. 3.6%. On rate beer, from, out of uh, 66 ratings, it's got a thing of a uh, score of 3.18 out of 5. So it says here, This dark beer is a nod to the archer of yesteryear. The rich and full roasted toffee malt delivers a lingering flavour that is straight and true, and really it's the spot. Definitely got a sweetness in the taste. So, aroma. I can get roasted and malty from the aroma, but that's about it. Taste definitely malt, definitely roasty, definitely sweet as well. Very sweet. So, on ratebear.com, uh, do a few ratings 3.4 out of 5. Pours dark ruby brown with an off white to beige head. Aroma of nut, chocolate, roasted malt, dark fruits, toffee and a hint of licorice and charcoal. Heavy sweetness. Light roasted bitterness, medium body, oily sticky texture, soft carbonation, sweet, sticky, roasted. Another one, 3.1 out of 5. Dark fruit, caramel, fairly watery and light in taste, dark brown body and beige head, not bad. Final, 3.5 out of 5, pours a deep dark mahogany coloration with a medium fizzy head, smells of lightly toasted grainy caramel malt and hints of chocolate and toffee. Taste follows the nose being dominated by toasted grainy caramel malt and notes of lighter notes of chocolate and toffee as well as just a hint of dark fruit and herbal ops. So yeah, um... Bit of it for such a dark beer and 3.6%, so you know, quite a weak beer, you know. Um, now, I, I'm drinking it and it tastes sweet, and I got a taste of bubblegum. Nobody else said anything about bubblegum, so it just shows you, doesn't it, how different your perceptions of taste are, you know. That sweetness is definitely overpowering the um, the rest of it. I mean, it looks a great beer. And I've got to be fair, Richwater, one of my favourite breweries, I mean, King Goblin's my number one. Uh, Black Witch is a very highly rated beer in my uh, pumpkin. Uh, Dunkel Fester, Hobgoblin of course. 
uh, you know, they've got such a good amount of ears. I like the, mo the, the I like the the moulds in it. That's nice. I like the, the chocolate roast. It's, it's all nice. It's all nice apart from the sweetness. The sweetness is just I find too sweet. And I'm not. I'm a sweet tooth person. So for me to not like the sweetness is something. pleasantness to it I'm just I'm just not entirely fussed with the sweet the, you know the sweetness of the malt it's definitely one of them you know it's uh Definitely an acquired taste, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, which would usually bring out some cracking beers. Ooh. So... To break it down, um, dark mahogany slash black in colour, uh, good beige head, carbon inlation must be there, but you can't see it, um, aroma, roasted malty, taste, roast, malty, coffee, chocolate, and an abundance of sweetness, and it's the sweetness that scores it down in my um, viewpoint. Yeah, I can't, um, it's really heavy, the sweetness, and it's, it, it to me, it spoils what could be a fantastic beer. Um, I mean, it's not nasty, don't get me wrong. It's still a nice beer, but it, it's just the sweetness. It's just too much. Uh, you couldn't drink any more than one. You know, you wouldn't call it a session IPA. Uh, a session IPA, that's because I'm looking up there, the IPA. You couldn't call it a session beer. And for a dark beer, you know, it's only 3.6%. I don't know why it's so bloody sweet. So, out of five... Ooh. And to wash my mouth out with some whiskey or something. Um, out of five. I'm going to give it a 3.8 out of five. Uh, really wasn't... It's, it, it's still better than a lot of your basic, your, your standard beers. But the sweetness lets it down. Lost it a few points. Sadly, you know. I mean, looks-wise, aroma... And some of the taste was really good. But just that sweetness. I mean, on the back it says, A crisp, zesty nose with light aromas of pine and dried fruit. Golden glow and delicate dry finish. That will lead you back to the bar. Yeah, might do. Might lead you back for a King Goblin. And anyway, only can, uh, only can tell what, I, what I'm tasting, you know. And uh, I don't like giving... Not so good reviews. I'd rather give good positive reviews. But that sweetness that, you know, is just too much for me. Thanks for watching. See you soon.